so yeah now I'm going to add some materials to our object so just hit M or press this button right here to open the material editor and uh, select an empty slot and I'm going to change the diffuse color to white select our studio background and click this button right here to assign the material to the selection and click this show standard map in viewport if it doesn't show up I'm going to click it anyway select the teapot and select an empty slot click on standard go to arch and design and uh, I'm going to select a template called copper and the same thing apply and show uh, I'm going to make a render test again uh, by the way if you don't have the metal ray renderer selected you just hit F10 and uh, in the common tab you will scroll down and uh, in the assign render you change the production render to mentory so it already is uh, let's make a render test again okay it's looking good but uh, we can see already a black spot in the middle of our teapot that is the reflection of our world environment so I'm going to cancel this and you you could go to rendering environment and change the background color to white but I, I tried it doesn't look very good so what I'm gonna do is go to the create panel and I'm going to create a sphere right in the middle just covering everything I'm going to encourage the segments to 40 go to the modify panel and select to add a modifier normal open your material editor and apply the same material of our studio background to the sphere so if you try to render this right now it will be brighter and the black spot will have gone so I'm going to cancel this yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually thinking that this is too bright so I'm going to the exposure control and I'm going to increase the exposure value to 7 and try to make her another render test okay uh, yeah that's fine now we just need to change some rendering options so hit F10 to open the render setup or just click right here and uh, I'm going to change the output size to full HD you could change the time output so we have a single frame which will render the frame that is selected uh, active time segment it will render all frames of the active timeline and you can select a specific range so I'm going with single right now and you could change the render output so if you want to save your images or a video right here just hit files I'm, I'm not going to save it anyway and you can change the view to camera so it will render the the camera that we have on the scene and you can hit this lock right here so it always render this camera so now I'm going to indirect illumination and enable final gather and I actually think the low precision presets it's it's better but uh, I'm going with draft because I'm not very patient to waiting it to render 
and I'm just going to increase the diffuse bounces to 2. These options right here are used for, for tweaking uh, global illumination photons, which I'm not going to activate right now. By the way, you can scroll down and you will see the options of caustics and uh, global illumination. This is a, a very complex procedure and uh, I think it deserves a whole tutorial just for global illumination. So I'm not going to, to activate it right now. Uh, that's okay in this rendering. Illumination. I'm going to render tab right now. And I'm going to increase the minimum samples to 1 and the maximum to 16. And I'm going to change the filter type to Mitchell. And if I render this right now, it will probably prob probably be very brighter. Yeah, that's because of the final gather. So I'm going to cancel this. And what I'm going to do is go to the exposure control again. And Oops, yeah. And increase the exposure value to 8. And render again. That's looking good. Another thing that would make it look a little bit better uh, would be a f ambient occlusion, which I also think deserve a, deserves a whole tutorial just for it because it's it's not that it's complex, but the c concept is a little bit harder harder to understand. So I'm not going into it right now. Okay, I'm going to stop and I'm going to come back when it finishes to render. So the render is finished. I'm pretty happy with the result. I guess that's it. So if you guys like this video, click thumbs up. Favorite it helps me a lot. If you want to subscribe to the channel so you can receive new updates when I post a new video, I'll try to make a, at least three or four tutorials a week. If you guys want, you can send some feedback to me so I can know what to to improve in the tutorials. I'm aware that my microphone is not very good. It kind of makes some weird noises sometimes. I'll try to buy a new one. So um, I guess that's it. See you all.